International indices finished last week off on a high with a pop in Brent crude, helping energy counters add impetus to the market's bullish sentiment as the local top 40 index took a breather from recent gains. Asia was up this morning, giving the local boss the strongest start it needed, with broad-based gains across most sectors, but with resources ultimately leading the charge. On the commodity front, Brent has dipped below $40 once more and is trading at $39.75 per barrel. The spot gold contract is at $1,257 per ounce and platinum is marginally up at $973 per ounce. In the foreign exchange market, the rand has given up some of the gains it made last week, trading at 14 rand 34 to the US, 17 rand 7 cents to the euro, and 22 rand 6 cents to the British pound. The European Central Bank's commitment to further stimulus measures were the big talking point from last week, as interest rates on main refinancing operations for the euro system were dropped five basis points to 0%. Interest rates on marginal lending facility were cut by five basis points to 0.25%. The interest rate on the deposit facility will decrease by 10 basis points to negative 0.4%. And monthly purchases under the asset purchase program will increase from 60 billion to 80 billion euros. Finally, a new series of targeted long-term refinancing operations, also known as TLTRO2, each with a maturity of four years, will be launched. In local economic data, manufacturing production decreased by 2.5% compared to that of January in 2015, and mining production decreased by 4.5% for the same period. Looking forward to this week and the four main touch points amongst the host of largely British and US-centric data will be US crude oil inventories, commentary from the Fed on Wednesday regarding an increase in interest rates, interest rate decisions from the Bank of England, and the local South African Reserve Bank rates decision on Thursday. A whole host of local shares go ex-dividend today, with Remgro and Advertech reporting results. Advertech for the year ending in December noted an increase in revenue of 40%, operating profit was up 75%, and a dividend of 29.5 cents per share was declared. The share price is currently up 2.11% for the day at 14 rand 1 cents. Remgro has yet to release its earnings.